Okay, so now I'm going to talk about uh, maintaining a safe and effective um, working environment. Okay, so it's really important that you look up um, how to set up your treatment area to meet the salon standards and assessment criteria that's needed. Okay, so it's worth looking in an assessment book, which is going to be on Moodle, okay, under the distance learning um, skin camouflage section. Um, have a look at the assessment criteria. What is what is your assessment criteria for your treatment area? So you're making sure it's clean, hygienic, safe um, for you to work on. So there's something I want you to look into there. Then you need to look into the environmental conditions. So thinking about stuff like, you know, is, is the area inviting? Is it relaxing? Have you got music? Is there good ventilation available? Is it comfortable? Um, is the temperature nice, um, etc. Okay, so think about your environmental conditions. Once again, look at your assessment criteria. If you go in your assessment book, in the back of that assessment book is the assessment um, unit content. Okay, have a look at what is actually specified by VTCT, what the standards are. Okay, once again, with the maintaining personal hygiene at all times, making sure you're meeting the salon standards and the assessment criteria um, to pass. Okay, you need to take responsibility and look into that. Okay, you need to make sure you've got all those products, tools, and equipment that we talked about earlier. You need to make sure that they're easily accessible and that they're in a clean and hygienic um, environment. OK, make sure that your client is able to be positioned correctly and comfortably um, for the particular procedure, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more in lesson two and three. OK, so have a little um, look at that in a little while. Um, you must always maintain industry standards of professionalism, particularly I cannot highlight enough how important that is for skin camouflage procedures um, that you do do that okay making sure that you are empathetic making sure that you make that person feel comfortable um, is really important because sometimes when you're working on particular clients that need these areas concealed they can be really uncomfortable and anxious about it and um, so you need to be as professional and um, communicate with them in a way which is like I said empathetic um, all your waste products all your tissues your cotton wool pads everything needs to be put straight in the bin after you've used them never leave them out on the side you need your work area to be maintained all times for this okay because it's remedial and you're working on particularly um, delicate areas um, of, of someone's body or skin then you need to make sure that you're making sure your standards are as high as possible okay you need to work within commercially viable timings which i'm talking about a little bit more um in lesson two but normally we're talking around 30 minutes to one hour um, is normally an acceptable time to be working on um, a skin camouflage area um, lastly, you need to make sure that all your records are up to date and you give appropriate advice, OK? Um, so that's really quite important. Um, you need to make sure you're logging um, the area you're working on, so write a little description of it. You need to make sure that you're writing the skin colour match um, products that you've um, selected, the colour correction that you've used. Um, and the colour of the powder that you're using as well, okay, which is normally translucent. Um, but those are quite important to sort of bear in mind. Okay, um, so that's all I'm going to talk about in um, lesson one. Um, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of information to help you towards your assignment um, and to also help you towards your exam and to get you started with the preparation and thinking about um, what you require to do for assessments practically okay even when you're practicing develop these um, consultation techniques and um, setups and hygiene and um, procedures um, as professionally as you possibly can uh, in lesson two what I'm going to talk about in a little bit more depth is the consultation process 
um, which is really key for skin camouflage procedures. I'm going to be talking about contraindications um, that we need to look out for, um, carrying out the actual treatment, okay, the actual procedure, and we'll talk a little bit about the aftercare advice as well. Okay, so I look forward to hearing from that. I hope this has been useful. If you've got any questions, you can add comments at the um, end of the actual video on YouTube, or you can email me as always. Okay, um, so any questions you've got, ask away. Um, if not, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've missed you all crazy. It's not the same sitting here with a camera and a computer. Um, but I hope these help a little bit more um, to explain what you're reading, okay, and what you're doing remotely. Um, and I'm really proud of you for all what you've done. So thank you for that. And um, I look forward to uh, lesson two.